Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to write a function that takes a character from the user and return true if it is a vowel or false otherwise. We define a function with a keyword def. The function name is check. It takes a parameter. The name of the parameter is ch. We create a list with all the elements of vowels, lowercase vowels, a, e, i, o, u, and stored inside a list variable, l vowel. Similarly, we create another list with all uppercase vowels. The list is saved in the variable u vowel, indicates the upper vowel characters. Now by using a in operator, we can check whether the element is present in the list or not. So we check whether ch is present in l vowel or ch is present in u vowel. That means either ch is a lowercase vowel or an uppercase vowel. So we are using in operator to check whether the element is present in the list or not. If it is present in either of the cases, we return the value true to indicate that the character is a vowel, else we return the value false. If it is not in the vowel list, we return the value false. So the function returns either the value true or false, true for vowel character and false for any other characters. To read a character from the user, we are using the sys module. Inside the sys module, we have an object which is named as stdin, standard input object. By using the object, we call the method read. And inside the read, we have mentioned how many number of characters to be read from the standard input. So if you are writing read of one, it will read only one character from standard input, which is a keyboard and store into the variable chr. The same read method can be used for reading multiple characters. So suppose if you write read of two, it will read two characters from the standard input and get stored into the chr variable. Now in this case of program, we need to read only one character from the user. That's why we have written the parameter of read as 1. Now the single character which is read from the user will be passed to the, our function which we have created. The name of the function is check. Now if the function is returning the value true that means chr contains a vowel character. Otherwise the chr contains a non-vowel character. Execute and see the program output.
Thank you for watching this video.